Welcome. My name is Ray Klein. I'm a certified master inspector here at InterNACHI in Boulder, Colorado. Today we're coming from the House of Horrors and we're going to do some window inspection tips today. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be primarily covering single hung and double hung window types. And I've got a couple of uh, devices I'm going to show you here that uh, concern these type of windows. What I'm holding here is a newer version of a counterbalance spring. Typically these are located in the, the sash, the lower sash on the insides of the track. Now sometimes you may see these popped out of position. If they're above the sash, you, you'll see them up there. Also the sash won't function correctly. In most cases it will be cockeyed or it would not stay up when you pull the sash up to test the window. There are other mechanisms as well concerning double hung and single hung windows. This being the counterbalance weight that you'll see in some older wood windows, perhaps from the 20s and 30s and 40s. And these actually are located inside the wall along the trim, behind the trim work. You never see these. But typically what causes these to go bad is the roof gets deteriorated and breaks. And then the sash won't stay up. So this particular window here has the type of counterbalance spring or the type of mechanism that holds the sash up. You don't see these. These are typically over in the behind the, the sash to the side. This one has good resistance, so when you open it, it stays open. We don't see any cockeyed behavior to the sash itself. And this is a single hung window. And keep in mind that a single hung, the upper sash is always going to be fixed. In a double hung, both the upper and the lower can either move down or up. Now with a double hung window, as a safety tip to all inspectors, when you're operating this lower sash, always keep your fingers back from the edge of it. Sometimes that upper sash can be loose and it can come slamming down and you can get your fingers damaged or injured. This is also a, a vinyl clad type window. In normal cases these are pretty good quality windows depending on what, what the builder put in when he built the house. But in case you find that these mechanisms not working, you should take photographs and put it in your report and address it that you have a malfunctioning counterbalance spring and you recommend a window repair person take a look at it. And that's our inspection tip of the day. We'll see you again.